lost out there. Besides, he's got too much of a head start on you. You bleed him pretty badly. Let me take off your shirt. At least there's no bones broken. Probably hit an artery. These will stop it for a moment. But you need a doctor. If you tell me how to get to Manzanita Springs, I will fly you there. Well, I can tell you how to get there. But with both of us in that plane, I doubt if you can clear those trees. Let me worry about those trees. This is all my fault. I'm sorry. Forget it. Okay. You may be right about the top of those trees. So before it's too late, permit me to introduce myself. My name is Nicky Lopez. Mine's Rogers. I sure hope you're lucky. So do I. But if we cannot go over them, we go through them. Tough luck, we're not in that bad shape yet. We've still got one good plane. But I'll tell you, Mr. Bradis, if we're ever forced to give up the airline, you'll get first crack at it. But don't hold your breath till we do. Well, you can't blame a businessman for trying. Why don't you try someplace else? I'll see you later. Bye. 
that guy gives me... Oh, I knew I had something to tell you. There's a plane coming in. Okay, Cookie. I've never seen that one before, have you? Me either. Maybe they got some news about Sid. Boy, I hope so. This is Mickey Lopez. Hello. Hi. Hello. Did you see anything of the plane? Not a thing. I searched every inch of ground between here and the Walker mine. I couldn't find a trace of Sid or the plane. I can't understand how a plane can completely disappear from the face of the earth. Oh. Especially when Sid is such a good pilot. Hello, Roy. Hi, you takes. Any news about Sid? Not a clue. I don't know. It beats me. He's on the last lap of his trip. The weather was perfect. If anything had gone wrong, he could have made a forced landing in any of these meadows. You know, Roy, hey, what happened to you? He had a little accident. Come on, everybody, let's get out of here and let Roy get some rest. He can tell us all about it later. We'll have plenty of time to talk. I'll get you some water, Roy, and see if I can hurry up the doctor. Thanks. Sheriff will be all right. His arm will be stiff for one of two days, that's all. I am familiar with those kind of things. You are? Well, well, do you, do you get shot very often? <laughs> no, but you see, I was a bullfighter. You were a bullfighter. You're Nicky Lopez, a great bullfighter. At your service. Gee, I saw you fight at Tijuana. I never will forget that great big black bull you killed. When it comes charging and snorting. <laughs> <laughs> I got great big goose pebbles all over. So did I. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, did a cute girl with black hair about this high? She sure did. Miss Richards flew her in a little while ago. That spitfire, the little firecracker, baggage all over the place. Put it here, put it there. Give me this, take that. Move it here, move it. I never saw anything as spoiled in my life. If she was mine, I'd take her over my knee and I'd spank it. <clears throat> Well, she's not your wife. Not yet. Oh. But that description fits perfectly the girl I'm looking for. Well, you found her. She's spoiled. Yeah. Her father is very rich. Oh. Can you take me to her? Well, sure, she's on her way to spa now with the pioneers. Says she's going to be around here for a while. I'll get my luggage. So I'll get the car. Hey, hey. Did you hear who he said he was? Yeah. Gee, maybe if he likes me, he'll teach me to be a torador. You know, how to fight the bull. You ought to make a good pupil. Yeah. You already know how to throw it. Oh. A gay ranchero, a caballero, can always find someone to pet. A senorita, a sweet papita, the other loves will soon forget. If he's insistent, ¿Qué vas a hacer? if she's not distant, no, 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 no. the senorita will confess. I guess. A gay ranchero. Her caballero need only ask and she'll say yes. Soon there'll be fiesta with a blushing bride. And the gay ranchero standing by her side. If they find the promise that they have in store. They'll be counting little chicos by the score. Vamos a Tepa, tierra soñada, donde la vida es un primor. Allá me espera, mi chapeteada. La única dueña de mi amor es tan bonita, mi chaparrita, que cuando va al templo a rezar, todos le llaman la virgencita de la boquita de cora. For they found the promise that they had in store. Now they're really counting chicos by the score. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Stop. That's enough, I think. That's the tale of the Gerard Carroll. Well, here 
Here we are. <clears throat> this is what we call home. Bien. Tráigame la maleta. Come on, Nacho. Vamos, vamos, flojos, que yo estoy acostumbrada a que siempre me den buen servicio. Y si ustedes no lo pueden hacer, iré a otro lugar mejor. No, 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 you keep your appointment with me, we'll talk about bullfights. Oh, don't you worry, I'll be there. You go on in, I'll take care of the baggage. Consuelo. So, I can't trust you. You follow me. Consuelo. I don't like you anymore. Neither does Nacho. See? <laughs> you cannot stay here. Your father sent me to take you back. Why? So we can get married. I live in happiness in my rancho. But you will not fight the bulls anymore, and I cannot marry a coward. Already I have told you thousands of times why. I will not fight the bulls because I love you, and so I don't want to die. That's no excuse. Good boy, Nacho. I suppose you'll be needing a room. Yes, I will. I didn't get the name, sir. Oh, Lopez. Oh, Lopez. Oh, Lopez, another Irishman. Here, take some of this mineral water. It's good for you, ulcers. Hey, look who's here. Saw him around here this morning. But you did get your friend Roberts. Why, you duck and you. And this goes for you, too. You two guys are always sending us out to do that dirty work while you sit around here and take it easy. As for Roberts, I thought he'd talk. Slim, we don't hold you responsible for what happened to Roberts. You did right. What about the plane? Nah, nobody will ever find it. We pulled it in a canyon and blew a whole mountainside down on top of it. And the pilot? The gold got through. Sure. We got it. Now take this and get out of town. But don't let Roger see you leave. But where and how long? As far as you can. We'll tell you when to come back. And use the back door. I never thought I'd be doing this for Sid. After all the years we flew together, Australia, Saipan. You know, I'll never forget those strikes we made on Japan. That was plenty tough. You know, it's funny. After all he went through during the war, he has to disappear this way. I don't care about the plane, the gold, or anything. If we could just have Sid back. Roy couldn't find him, nobody could. But if we only knew. Here's a letter addressed to you, Cookie. For me? Dear gang. My number ever comes up. I will the following articles to the following people. To Tex, the best wingman I ever had, my leather jacket. May it always be in luck. To Betty, that big kiss I was always trying to steal. To Cookie, this little prayer to say for me. May the headwinds that I fought through life drift me through the pearly gate. <coughs> and to all I leave my corny sense of humor. Am I interrupting? Oh. I just got the last report from the CAA. Yeah? Nothing. 
I wish I knew what to do. If we lose this place, we'll all go broke. Yeah, and the spa, too. Holy smokes, I almost forgot my first lesson. My lesson, you know, my lesson. <laughs> the reason I came to see you, Betty, was to find out when your next flight is. Tomorrow. We're making the pickup run to the mine. Here's our flight plan. Well, that's about the same as the other one. Just about. The last hop is from the Walker mine right back here. Will you be sure that everything on that plane is double-checked and call me before it leaves? Okay. So long, Roy. So long, Tex. Oh, I checked that wiring system again, Miss Richards. It's all right. Good. I'll tell Cookie. Say, what did Cookie mean by his first lesson? <laughs> I think he's got a date with a bull. <laughs> <laughs> this flight plan is practically the same as last time. It'll be easy. Yeah. Let me see, from the walk of mine back is the last leg of the trip. Now, if he runs out of gas a short while after he takes off, the only place he can set down is Big Meadows. I figured it out on the map, and it ought to take just three and a half hours to get to the meadows. And we'll fix it so there's only three and a half hours fuel in the tanks. Now, Breezy, the important thing is to fix that gauge so they think they have plenty of fuel. Okay. This trip will break them and make us. Boy, and all that gold. Peanuts. I'll make the spa the fanciest gambling casino in the country. We'll slide the suckers in our own planes. Then you'll see what real money looks like. so they all still read full. Let's go. There I was cornered by an enraged bull. My cape was gone. My sword was broke. What do you think happened? You were saved by the bell. Oh. Manzanita, hello, Roy. Listen carefully, Cookie. I just got all the reports from the government files on everybody that's had anything to do with that plane. Uh, me too? Yes, you too. I'm not sure, but I think I got a couple of clues. Tell Betty not to let that plane leave the field this morning. It may be a matter of life or death. But, 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 Roy, I can't. Tex has already gone, and Betty went with him. How long have they been gone? I see. They should be leaving on the last leg of their flight about now. Don't say anything to Breezy about this. In fact, don't say anything to Breezy about anything. I'll see you later, Cookie. Reception committee. All right. Now, if everything works out the way we figured, the plane will land out there in that clearing. The wind's coming from the north, so they'll glide in this way for a landing. You fellows get on the other side and stay hidden. We'll take care of things over here. Be sure and keep your faces covered. All right, get going. What a beautiful day this is. What a nice haul we've gotten back. Boy, what an easy way to make a living. Easy? I'm glad you feel that way because I don't know what we'd do without you. Ah, forget it. It's fun working for people like Cookie. And you. It'd be more fun if you could get paid regularly, wouldn't it? Skip it. The important thing right now is to keep the airline running. You're a swell guy, Tex, and we appreciate it. 
Boy, are you corny. Well, Sid left us his corny sense of humor. Well, another thing that Sid left that I might collect at the end of this run, that little kiss. The only thing you'll collect is a pineapple soda that Cookie said he'd have waiting for you. <laughs> if there's a pineapple soda... Hit the wobble pump, Betty. There they are, just like he said. Yeah, that breezy sure gave us the right dope. It doesn't do any good. The gate says half full with plenty of gas. Must be a plug fuel line. I'll set her down on that clearing right straight ahead of us. If that's what it is, I can fix it in ten minutes. Check your safety belt. Hang on. Here we go. Hey, when that breezy fixes anything, it stays fixed. I don't know, but that's 
what we're going to find out. <laughs> Runway's all clear. Yeah, you did a good job. What do you think, Nicky? Sure, plenty of room. Let's clear everything out of here, fellas. We're ready to go. Hi, you, Nicky. Hello, Betty. Did you check a few lines? Yeah. What about the gas tanks? They're all packed up. She's ready to take off. Well, you got a whole new panel. I checked it myself. It's strange they shut out all the gauges. What good could that do them? I don't know. It beats me. That plane should have burned up when they shot into those gas tanks. Maybe they were empty. The indicator read a quarter full. Hey, Breezy, you're the mechanic. What do you think? Why, I don't know. That is, I... I... Nicky, to pull us out of this hole. Yeah, you can sure fly. Uh-oh. I've been expecting this. Uh, no. Hey, fellas, come here a minute. We're all going to have to look for a new job. They won't extend our credit any longer. Oh. I'm sorry about this. I know how hard all of you have worked to put the airline and the spa over. Sure, Roy. How much time have we got? Not much. According to law, I have to hold an auction by sealed bid as soon as possible. Oh. Well, it ain't gonna bother me much. I'll just live off the fat of the land. Yeah, but I ain't got no land. <laughs> well, Mike, the place looks pretty good. We'll own it in a few hours. Yeah, but suppose somebody outbids us. Who else around here has that much dough? It looks like I finally won. You have to come home with me now. I'm not leaving until I get ready. Anything new? No. Might as well get it over with. Hi, Sheriff. Hi, Timmy. Hello there. Well, folks, I guess there's no use talking about why I'm here. I'm instructed to open all sealed bids for the purchase of the Manzanita Spring Spa and the Manzanita Airline. It's now 3 o'clock and the bidding is closed. I received two sealed bids for the purchase of these properties. The first is from Mr. Vance Bredos. The other one is from Miss Consuelo Belmonte. Consuelo? For submitting the highest bid, the purchase is hereby awarded to Miss Consuelo Belmonte. Wait a minute, Mike. Wouldn't be smart to start a fuss now. Consuelo, I forbid you to do this. I've got plenty of money. Senores, right now I can only say that there will be no changes. Betty, we'll talk about the airlines later. Okay, boss. We'll talk about dry right now. Oh, I forgot. The reason I bought this place. From now on, Senor Lopez's room will be vacant. Now, get out. You evicted. That is a job for the sheriff. I have my rights, you know. <laughs> sheriff! Congratulations, Consuela. I think you made a good investment. Thank you, Roy. You see? You know, Roy, I am going to do something that I've been thinking about for a long time. <laughs> well, I lost again. You have to help me. We must take Consuelo away from here. She has no right buying this place. She didn't. What do you mean? Bredis' bid was the higher. Then why I you... I didn't want Bredis to get his hands on this property. Besides, I'm going to put him in jail. Oh. 
If there's anything that I can do to help. There is. Just keep your eyes on Consuelo. This is pretty rough country, and you never can tell what might happen. But how could we tell that that silly dame was going to outbid us? I got a hunch that Rogers has something to do with this. Yeah, and I've got a hunch we ought to do something about it. Well, maybe you're right. Oh, by the way, how much did she outbid us? Well, now that you mention it, I don't know. Listen, we can't take this laying down. Pretty late, aren't you? That's my business. Mine, too. What are you doing here? I work here, remember? That door's locked from the outside. You came in the same way I did. So what? I don't carry a gun. I got nothing to hide. I think you better come down to my office. I have a few things to check over with you. Anything you have to say to me, you can say it now. This won't take long. Let go of me. No, no, don't, don't. That wasn't a very smart thing to do, Breezy. Now you're under arrest for assault on an officer of the law. Come on. chance to cool off and think things over. Hello, Cookie. Get over here as fast as you can and bring Betty. There's a friend of yours here that has something to tell us. Okay. Hey, Bredos, Breezy's in jail. You're kidding. No, I'm not kidding. You know what a temper Breezy has. Well, instead of going along peaceably when the sheriff wanted to question him, he took a poke at him. I just talked to him through the jail window. and he locked me in here to talk. Did you? No. Where did he pick you up? At the hangar. Does he know about the plane? No, but I got a hunch he suspects something. But he doesn't know about that. Did you fix the gauge? Yep, it's okay. I copied the flight plans, but got rid of them before he had a chance to search me. It's the same as last time. Good. She'll keep you company. Things look pretty rough. You might be in here for a while. A long while. You want to use it on Rogers, it's... All right with me. Don't worry. No sheriff's gonna keep me in here. That's the way to talk, Breezy. What'd you want to give him that gun for? Rogers can't hold him anyway. I take a chance. I'm any judge of human nature. There'll be fireworks in there any minute. If he kills Rogers, that's just dandy. Yeah, but what if he gets killed? Rogers is a dead shot. And he won't be able to tell Rogers anything. And the sheriff will be just where he started. All right. 
right, Sheriff. Just stick your hands up. Now back up there and give me those keys. Go on. You didn't think you could keep me in here, did you? I got friends. Sheriff's office. Can you run over here right away? There's been some trouble. Breezy, a mechanic at the airline. Yeah, Breezy. Okay, I'll wait for you. What about Breezy? He's in the cell block. Oh, he is. What's he done now? There's no use going in there, Betty. Why? I had him under arrest and he tried to shoot his way out. Under arrest? Shoot well, his way out? Where did he get the gun? One of the gang he belongs to must have slipped it to him. The same gang that's been hijacking your planes and shooting the pilots. Whose gang? Vance Bredos. You see, I told you he was no good. Breezy fixed the gas gauge on that plane to read full. But the tanks weren't full. They had to be empty or the plane would have burned when they shot into it. Look at this. That's our flight plan. Yeah. It's an imprint. This is the pad Breezy made the copy on. That's enough for me. Come on, let's go get him. Just a minute, Cookie. I could arrest him now, but I couldn't prove anything. Tomorrow he's going to come looking for those bids. We've got to nail him first. Well, how can you do that if you haven't got anything on him, like you say? He'll trap himself. That's where the flight comes in. I want him and all the others, too. You better run along now and get some sleep. Okay, I'll see you the first thing in the morning. Good night. Good night. Council Wheeler. Goodbye. Cookie, what's the matter? Where is Nicky? I'm flying with Nicky. We're setting that trap for Bradus and the gang, and I'm the bait. But they told me it wasn't dangerous. Dangerous? Ha! You may never see Nicky and I alive again. But don't you worry. I'll do or die for old man Zanita Airlines. Oh, poor Nicky. Good morning. Is everything ready? Ready as far as we're concerned, Roy. I just topped all the tanks. They're so full they won't hold another drop. Good. Roy, do you think it'll work? I hope so, Cookie. If it doesn't work, we're all in trouble. Yeah, especially me and Nicky, too. Looks like if trouble comes, you're ready for it. Huh? Well, you know the old saying, an ounce of prevention. Looks like pounds and pounds to me. <laughs> Good morning, Roy. Morning. We have the big surprise ready for those bandidos. You know what to do, Nicky. Come in on a long glide like you're out of gas. When you see Bredis and his gang coming after you, give it the gun and get away from her as fast as you can. The boys and I will take over from there. Okay. Roy, if anything happens to me, don't let the cat get my goldfish. All clear? Clear. Where is Consuelo? I'd like to say goodbye to her. I don't see her. Will you say goodbye for me and tell her that I love her? Okay, Nikki, I'll go her. Good luck. I'm 
off well. She certainly disappeared in a hurry. She probably couldn't stand to see Nikki leave. Boy, she's really got a bad. <laughs> be taken off by now. Fredo's better get here. Is he going with us? Well, he said he was. You better round up the boys. Tell them to meet us at the same place and they'll get the same cut. Sure, Mike. Hi, boss. Where's he going? Round up the boys. Everything's all set. I'm sorry, Mike. The deal's off. What's the matter, Bradis? You getting soft? Nope. I'm getting smart. Something phony about that bid. I'm seeing Rogers at 12. Got a hunch. Yeah, but what about the gold? Well, the gold's a... Slim, I thought I told you to stay out of town. Do you want to get us all hung? I need a shave. I got tired of eating beans and listening to coyotes howl at night. Besides, how'd I know you guys wouldn't give me the slip? Are you accusing us of double-crossing you? Maybe I am. Well, you take should. Now, wait a minute. Yeah, you stay out of this. You've given me a lot of dirty jobs to do. But this one I like. Living caught up with him. Got your letter just in time. Yeah, and you got here just in time. Thought I was going to have to do the job myself. Deal's all set and Breda's was going to back out. Well, let's go. Drag him in the closet. I'll clean out the safe. Yeah, by the time he comes to, we'll be a long ways from here. Never could understand why Breda's wanted to mess around with that spa. It's quicker and cleaner this way. I don't want part of it either. Just give me the cash and I'm happy. One more haul and we won't have to work for years. Not even this kind of work. Tell the others Bredos is going to wait here for us. He will. You know, I'm very unhappy about Consuelo. She didn't even come to say goodbye to me. Oh, you know how women are. Maybe she's upset. I'm upset. You should be upset. Wearing perfume. Perfume me? Just a minute, I'll have... Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'm dreaming, but... It reminds me of the first time I sang to Consuelo. Were you under her balcony? See? Was there a great big moon? It was. And then what happened? You belong to my heart. Now wonderful and our love had its start not long ago. We were gathering stars while a million guitars played our love song. Darling, you are the song and you'll always belong to my heart. Una vez nada más se entrega el alma con la dulce y tenaz renunciación y cuando este milagro realiza el prodigio de amarte, darling, you are the 
this song And you'll always be long To my heart Why, you... Hey, here's our perfume. Oh, Nicky, Hey, Nicky. watch where you go on. What are you doing here? This is not a place for a girl. Are you crazy? Yes, I love you. Oh, but you will be in great danger. There will be shooting. I don't care. When I discover how brave you are, I decide to come with you. If you die, I die. We all die. Hey, wait a minute. Don't count me in on this. Hey, we're just about there. Look. I'm sorry, Cookie. We cannot risk Consuelo's life. Her father will kill me. What about Roy and the boys? Yes. First you blame it on the bull, then you blame it on my father. You're still afraid. That does it. We're going in. Well, I don't see any trace of them. Do you suppose they know it's a trap? I hope not. But you never can tell. Is it Nicky? Yeah, that's him, all right. Don't look like anybody's coming to our party. Well, I figured this one wrong. They're not going to show up. I'll signal the boys to land. Well, we might as well go in and land. Okay. Might get a little rugged down there. That's Let's for me, go. boy. Let's go. Well, it looks like Bredos was right. It's a trap. Let's go. They know it's a trap. Roy will never catch it. <laughs> I thought something like that had happened. Dynamite! Go in the back. I circled them.
get me. Listen, the senorita will 